So, I wanted this travel video to be lighthearted and fun, recapping the absolute dream I got to live in for the past month. But the thing about creatives is that you will always know what they're going through because it shows in their art. Because the things we create is the very way we breathe. Truth is, I've been going through some internal shifts lately. And I really thought being in such a breathtaking, new, and exciting place would fix it. But it doesn't. And now I'm back home, forced to face myself and ask the questions and make the changes I didn't want to make. I think I've been struggling with this idea of fun and happiness. I look around and I feel like everyone knows and has this thing that is fun and enjoyable to them that they unwind with and can return to even daily. To some, it's dance, volleyball, nature, or just a cold beer on a Friday night. You could even ask my family, but for as long as I've existed, I never really had that thing that was fun for me. I mean, I still had a lot of fun in my life. But I also always did things out of wanting to be better at something, to challenge myself with opportunities, or to build myself. And while all those things did become my fun, I have built such a lifestyle for myself over the years that those things are no longer sustainable and working as fun for me. I never chose things that I enjoyed at the moment. It was always things that I would only enjoy the result or the end product. It was always things that required sleepless nights, blood, sweat, and tears, and so much hard work. And lately, I just find that I'm outgrowing those things. I'm outgrowing the dreams of the younger me. I'm outgrowing her fun, her ambitions, her joy. And that's really terrifying because I lived my whole life for her, knowing her, and worked so hard to journey back to her. And now it's like she's telling me that it's time to let go, to move on. Honestly, I'm a little lost. And at the same time, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm more clear on myself than ever. Maybe I know the present, current adult me better than anyone. I've spent years asking myself what a healing Nikita would look like. And I guess now, I'm asking what a happy and present Nikita would look like. I don't really have some grand insight to offer. Because honestly, I, I don't know. And I'm really still going through it. And I still get really down sometimes. But I can say, money, my dream job, a dream relationship, and traveling didn't fix it. Not if I don't know how to just let go and be present, and just do things I enjoy just because they bring me joy. I guess I'll start with less figuring out, and just more being. Just being.